So four years back, I made an IoT energy monitoring device in which I use a current sensor for that project. And at that time, I took the voltage value as a constant number to calculate the power. But a lot of people commented on that video saying that voltage is something which varies a lot sometimes. So it will be better to sense both voltage and current to calculate the power. And that will be the more accurate power consumption value consumed by our device. So here I am with the new and upgraded project. So in this video, I made my own IoT energy monitoring device in which I'm sensing both the voltage and current to calculate the actual power consumed by our device and furthermore I can send that data to the cloud for further processing or monitoring the energy consumed by our devices over internet. So this will be a super accurate and super interesting and useful IoT project which you can try out in the upcoming holidays. So now let me show you the complete process of making this project but before that here I would like to thank DigiKey who is not only the sponsor of this video but also provided all the components required to make this project. So DigiKey provides more than 13.4 million components from over 2300 quality brand manufacturers with product in stock and available for immediate shipment. DigiKey can act as your one-stop shop for all your electronic component needs. Also, with their fast shipping and excellent customer service, you can trust that your components will be always arrive on time and in the top condition. So do remember to check out DigiKey.in for your next project. So this project is divided in three major parts. One for current sensing, second for voltage sensing, and third for processing the data and sending it over internet. So now let's see what kind of component we use for each segment. So here for sensing the current, we have used the CT sensor which stands for the current transformer sensor. And it's perfect and convenient to use this sensor for sensing the current because we don't need to cut any wires or connect the sensor in between our AC load. Rather, we can clamp the sensor in one of the wire carrying current to sense the current flowing in that wire. And then to make the sensor work properly and convert the AC signal to the DC one which we later give to our microcontroller, we have used two ICs from ADI which is ICL7660 which is used for voltage conversion and AD736 which is used to convert the AC signal from the sensor to the DC signal and then given later to the controller. And that's how we are able to sense the AC current. And now for the voltage sensing part, here we have used the ZMPT101, which is an AC voltage sensor and it is used along with the LM358 operational amplifier IC, whose data is later than provided to the microcontroller. And that's how we are able to sense the AC voltage. And later to process all the data and send it over to cloud, we have used our all-time favorite ESP32 Wi-Fi module. And as here we have used the ESP32 Wi-Fi module rather than the ESP32 development board, we also added the power supply and the programming circuit on board. And now with all these things connected together, the final schematic of this project looks something like this. So after finalizing the schematic, we got our own custom PCB design for this project. And now let us move on to the shouldering part and starting with the assembly of SMT components first. So after shouldering the SMT components, we shouldered the DIP components. And after shouldering them all, we are done with the hardware part of the project. And now it's time to have a look over the coding part. So here is the sample code to visualize the current and sensors data reading on a serial monitor. And in this code, I just use one single library that is called as ZMPT101B whose link is provided in the code itself. So you can download it and install it in your Arduino IDE. Now let's try uploading the code and see if we are getting the actual readings or not. Okay, so here the code is uploaded and now I will connect the project with the AC supply to sense the voltage. And for the current, I'll take this small 60 watt bulb and connect the clamp sensor around one of its wire and later I'll insert the 3.5 mm jack into the socket and if I observe the serial monitor as you can see I'm able to see the voltage and current readings on it and eventually I can calculate the total power consumed by the appliances. And now if I remove the bulb as you can see the current value drops down to zero that means our project is perfectly working fine. Now let's move ahead and write the code for sending this data to IoT Cloud. Okay, so here is the code for our IoT energy monitoring project where I'm sending the real-time data to my Arduino IoT Cloud account. And along with that, I'm also showcasing the data on the tiny OLED screen on the project itself. 
And if you want to use this code on your end, well, you need to do a couple of changes like changing the Wi-Fi credentials and also changing the credentials of your Arduino IoT Cloud account. Well, if you want to learn more about how to set up your Arduino IoT Cloud account, how to write the sketch for it, how to do all the configuration, well, you should watch out my getting started video with the Arduino IoT Cloud, which is already uploaded on my YouTube channel that will guide you completely on how to use the Arduino IoT Cloud to make your own IoT projects. Okay, so here now I'll upload the code and now let's see this project working in action. So here this time I got a 3D printed case designed for this project to make it look more neat and compact. So after inserting the project in the casing and attaching the wires to it, I connected it with the AC main source and here again for the demo purpose I took a 60 watt bulb as a load. And now as you can see, I can visualize the data on the OLED screen and not only that, I can also visualize the data in real time on my Arduino IoT Cloud web dashboard as well as the mobile dashboard. Now for the second demo, I connected a 100 watt bulb in parallel with the first one and I got the new readings on the dashboard instantly and accurately. So that was the IoT energy monitoring project made completely from scratch. I hope you like the project and like the video as well. Also don't forget to check out dgk.in website for getting the electronic components for your next project. And yeah, that being said, I am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video and then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS. Digikey.